Hi, I'm Nathan from Listen Up. Today we're going to take a look at the new Klipsch RP1200 SW subwoofer. This is the 12 inch high excursion subwoofer in their reference premier line of subwoofers. We're going to unbox it and see what's inside and see the improvements that they've made. Everything from the new uh, cabinet design, new amplifier unit, and even the new drivers and baskets. Let's get into it. All right, we're going to open this up. And first thing that we're going to see is the new reinforced double thick grill. And if you see from the side, it is deeper. This is intentional to allow the subwoofer to accommodate for that excursion of that driver, giving us much lower, deeper tones. So we got the subwoofer out of the box, and the first thing that we always see is Klipsch's iconic ceramic driver right here at the front. Um, most of you will probably recognize this. Excellent design to maintain its rigidity and efficiency. The ring outside here, we notice is actually a little bit larger than the last model. This is actually allowing for that extended excursion that we were talking about earlier, allowing the subwoofer to generate much lower frequencies and be more efficient as far as pressurizing the room. Just below the driver, we see our slotted front port. This is actually designed to help the pressure in the back of the cabinet escape through the front as quickly as possible. This results in much more uh, efficient volume, much cleaner, crisper base, and overall a more accurate representation. Now we move to the side. And right here, we already noticed that we've got some rounded corners. This is obviously a much better look for the subwoofer, but is also going to help maintain the cabinet's rigidity as that driver is moving back and forth within the cabinet. The length of the cabinet, much deeper than Klipsch's last series of subwoofers. Again, allowing for that deeper uh, reach and farther throw of that uh, driver within, and then having enough room for that additional pressure to then develop and then escape again through that front port. When we look at the feet of the subwoofer, we also see that Klipsch took the time to redesign this as well. From the front, it looks like a traditional speaker spike, maintaining isolation from the cabinet and the floor of your room. However, we also see that it is made of rubber and is gonna give us much better grip and keep the sub in place, especially as it starts reaching much higher levels. Looking at the back panel, we see some improvements Klipsch has already made just back here in this section of the subwoofer. We've got our power right next to it. We have our tune to line level RCA inputs, and then this new WA2 port. This can be used for the optional WA2 wireless transmitter from Klipsch. Not only does this give you the option of putting the subwoofer almost anywhere in the room and not having to run an RCA cable from your system to that location, but it can also be used for two separate systems if you should have the need. For instance, if you have a two-channel system and a home theater system, you can use the wireless transmitter for one and the line level RCAs for the other. Looking at our low-pass filter and our gain, they have added this magnifier right on top of each of these knobs. So looking down, I can see exactly where my crossover is and exactly where my gain level is at. This way we don't have to pull the subwoofer away from the wall or out of its good positioning in order to make those little adjustments and fine tune our subwoofer into our system. Right here we have our standard in and out of phase switch. And then of course, on, auto, and standby. Klipsch has also added this functionality of the half watt standby mode in order to reduce energy costs that your subwoofer might be taking up when it's on a regular standby mode. All right, here is our driver unit. There's our big cone at the front. And then looking at this basket, we've got a much, much deeper basket than previous models. This is allowing the driver to move further forward and backward in order to get those much lower frequencies out into the room. And then that magnet right there 
big heavy magnet. This is going to help us produce a lot more power, get a lot more volume, more sound pressure levels into the room. All right, we've pulled out the amplifier unit and looking on the back, highly efficient capacitors. So this is going to be a highly efficient amplifier using class D amplification. We see we've got our inputs right here all the way up to a fully analog pre-amplifier unit before we go into actual power amplification downstream. And wires going all the way from here back through the cabinet where our driver is going to be located. All right, so looking at the completely exposed cabinet, we see through the front this internal bracing right here. This is going to contribute to the rigidity of the overall cabinet, as well as supporting that massive magnet on our driver. And back here, another thing that Klipsch thought up was getting sound from the inside of the cabinet to our front port. So we've got this aerofoil shape right here in the back of the cabinet leading into that porthole, uh, shaped much like uh, an airplane wing in order to improve the efficiency and reduce turbulence of air inside the cabinet. So again, it can escape the cabinet quickly and efficiently, giving us more volume, deeper tones, and overall much faster bass response. All right, now that we've taken the subwoofer apart and we've looked at all of the improvements that Klipsch has made, everything from the grill, the new drive units, the new amplifier units, and even the cabinet itself, let's talk a little bit about the specs. These subwoofers are rated to down to 16 and a half hertz with a sound pressure level of up to 121 dB. So this will most certainly pressurize the room very quickly as well as represent those very low frequencies that you might want to experience in your music or home theater system. Now, aside from specs, what we find truly impressive about this new line of subwoofers is also its cleanliness and its fast response to both movies and music. If you're looking for something that's going to give you a much more impactful experience, this subwoofer is designed for that. Whether you're new to Klipsch or you've been listening to Klipsch for a long time, this is certainly a great subwoofer to pair with almost any system. So we'll have a link in the video if you'd like to pick one up off of listenup.com or feel free to come down to any of our showrooms. We'd love it if you'd subscribe. Go ahead and click that bell if you'd like notifications for any future videos. Thanks again, guys.